Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York has proposed what she is calling a Green New Deal. The deal would shut down America's entire traditional energy sector within 12 years. Gasoline cars would be history. Close to 10 million Americans would lose their jobs. Virtually every building in the country would need to be retrofitted to become something called carbon neutral. Those are just the big points. There's a lot more in it, a lot more. Amazingly, quite a few Democrats seem to be taking this proposal seriously, or at least they're afraid to say otherwise for fear of offending the 29-year-old leader of their party. One person who clearly thinks it's ridiculous, though, is Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi still believes that she is the leader of the Democratic Party. She described Ocasio-Cortez's plan as, quote, the green dream or whatever they call it. Nobody knows what it is, but they're for it, right? Ouch. Dana Prino served as George W. Bush's press secretary, of course, and she hosts The Daily Briefing, which you watch daily, and she yes. joins us tonight. Dana, it's great to see you. It's nice daily. to see you. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess the first thing <laughs> I mean, that strikes I'm me about this plan... I was thinking about how am I going to not laugh. <clears throat> well, I mean, what I'm so struck by that my initial thought is the party of science forgot to consult scientists when they draft a complete rewrite of the American economy. How did that happen? Well, interesting also uh, that Nancy Pelosi uh, called it, as you said, the green dream, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, I like that. I like the sound of that. She wasn't offended. But what I also saw was that Speaker Pelosi said, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Um, and it, boy, is it enthusiastic. What it is not, Tucker, is about the environment. It is about yeah. progressivism. If it were about the right. environment, then we might actually have some science in here. So, for example, right. one of the things that they want to do is to end fossil fuel use in 10 years. Well, the problem is not taxes in this matter, okay? The problem is physics. If it were possible to get off fossil fuels in our, with our current technology, we would have done that. There is plenty of money to be had for the first person to figure that out. It's just that the physics well, exactly. isn't there yet. But why is this not about the environment and about progressivism? The best way, the only way really right now with the technology we have in order to get off fossil fuels is to add more nuclear power. But guess what? In the Green New Deal, yes. nukes banned. And it also says that they can't even say within 10 years that they would be able to completely eliminate nuclear power altogether. This is the stuff of dreams. But it also could but, but turn may out I, to may, be may a, I stop a, you there? a nightmare. Does, did, well, you make such a good point. If the if your aim is to reduce carbon emissions, we can debate whether that ought to be your aim. But if it is, mm -hmm. the nuclear power, as you just said, as a factual matter, is the cleanest, easiest, only really available way to do it. Do they explain why they're against that? No. Well, no. It's a 14-page document. It's, it's light on right. the details, right? And so that's something that they can say. Like all of these Democrats who have signed on today, as you said, like all the presidential candidates, they're right. like, we're, we're so excited about this. It's an idea. It's a goal. It's, a, it's not really real. But here's another thing. The other co-sponsor for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was um, Ed Markey, the senator from Massachusetts. Back right. in 2009, when they, when, uh, in the Obama era, where they passed this cap and trade deal, that's actually what helped lead to them losing seats in that first midterm for President Obama, that and Obamacare, those two things. What's in this Green New Deal? Well, more of the same, plus you'll get free health care. You're also going to be able to get free college tuition, and you will be able to provide a living for anyone that is unable or unwilling to work. It says that in the document, unwilling to work. <laughs> so that's why it's, I said I'm trying not to laugh, but it is a little bit preposterous that even today, you, obviously it's blanketing the airwaves. We're covering it here. It's going to get a lot of attention, and that's a good thing because we should have these debates. And it's also, if I can say, a little bit cynical and pretty insulting to those of us who actually care about the physical environment, like the land and the water and the air, which is getting dirtier. Walk through downtown San Francisco. It's filthy. Los Angeles is filthy. Environmentalists like me would like to see that cleaned up. And for them to use this stuff and call it environmentalism is It also ignores right, a the reality insulting. that it is actually um, who is putting in the most money for R&D and reinvesting to try to find new technologies. It is yeah. the government and then also the power companies. If you look oh, at the exactly power companies, right. they're actually trying to do it. They want more wind, more solar. But here's another thing that this document totally ignores, which is energy reliability. That is about our national security. And this document is really, 
Uh, it's light on the details. I don't think it will go be going too far, but it could be a real problem yeah. for those who signed on to it today. I hope it is because it's reckless and dumb. Dana, thank you very much. Thank you. See you. So, so what would happen to the United States if we abruptly got rid of fossil fuels? Mark Stein lives in a cold place. In fact, heats with wood. So he's thought about this and he joins us tonight. So we enact the AOC plan. What happens? Well, the AOC plan strikingly pledges to get rid of most forms of transportation uh, and indeed cows. So uh, you can give up your Chevy Suburban uh, and take your cow to work. The cow actually is more devastating to the environment uh, than the Chevy Suburban. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's document uh, actually says that uh, she's committed to ridding America of flatulent cows and airplanes. Uh, I always take a flatulent cow on an airplane as my emotional support animal. Uh, it means that uh, <laughs> 20, minutes out, 20 minutes out of LAX, you've got the whole first class compartment all to yourself. There, nobody's in there. Um, but uh, the, the Europeans actually tried this. And they basically, the Irish uh, were going to impose a tax of 13 euros per cow. And the Danes were going to impose a tax of 80 euros per cow. Because apparently a Danish Holstein is six times as flatulent as an Irish Hereford. So in, th in theory... Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is onto something that you could, uh, as the Europeans considered, actually have a flatulence offset regime. Obviously, you'd need a secretary of flatulence in the ca cabinet that would actually, uh, in you, Vermont, for example, has a lot of Holsteins. They're the black and white cows that look like the governor of Virginia with only half his makeup on. And you can take, you could take... You could take those, uh, Vermont would be able to trade its flatulence to Washington, D.C., where it could hang like a giant cloud over Congress. Uh, I, I've read this document in some detail. I think there are a lot of very interesting ideas in here. <laughs> One of them, you're not, I just want to reassure our viewers, you're not joking, you have read it. And it does yeah. say that she would like to get rid of airplanes and replace them with trains. That doesn't seem like a giant leap forward to me. No, well, everybody's, for example, uh, the, rail, the railroads were wood-fired. You couldn't actually, when they started, you couldn't actually do that now. The, the whole point of this is that if light rail was effective, uh, Democrats uh, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, would act, what they actually want is to cease movement of people. And it's amazing when you even supposedly conservative parties like the UK Conservative Party actually considered giving uh, citizens a carbon allowance to prevent them, for example, taking long haul flights uh, to vacations in Florida. Now, when the Soviets tried to do it, we called that totalitarianism. Suddenly, all you have to do is put an environmental label on it and everyone is in favor of restricting freedom of movement. I mean, this is that that's where this is headed. They're more self-righteous than the Soviets mm. ever were. She is. That's for that's sure. true. Mark Stein, great to see you. Thank you. And your Thanks a lot, Tucker. Guy.